A figure has line symmetry if you can draw a line and fold it in half, and the two sides match it up. Match up. So an isosceles trapezoid has a line of symmetry right here because this cor point corresponds, and you can literally fold it over. It's got to be an isosceles trapezoid. It can't be just be any trapezoid. A scalene triangle has no lines of symmetry. There's nowhere that you could draw a line and have it fold in half. So none of these would work. An isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry. I should write this as one. An ellipse has two lines of symmetry. A rectangle has two lines of symmetry. You could not do it diagonal. Whoops. You couldn't do it diagonal because that corner wouldn't fold right. A parallelogram has no lines of symmetry. Again, you couldn't do this diagonal because that wouldn't fold right. And then a trapezoid has no lines of symmetry. And a circle has infinite lines of symmetry. You could draw so many. So infinite lines. That's also line symmetry. I learned was also called reflectional symmetry. That's what I use in a different textbook. So if you see reflection symmetry or line symmetry, it's the exact same thing. Rotational symmetry is when you can literally take a figure and rotate it onto itself. So if you had this star right here, you could literally turn it and it would be the exact same thing. So if I turned it once, right here, if I turned it by 108 degrees, I know it's 108 de degrees because I could draw five, every, every 108 degrees, I did 360 divided by five because it has five points on it, one, two, three, four, five. So if I turn it 100, not, sorry, not 5, 360 divided by 5. That is 72 degrees. I was thinking of something else here. Okay, so every 72 degrees I could turn it. Um, this triangle I could not turn and have rotational symmetry if I start out in the center because this is pointier up here. This I could turn... 180 degrees so if I spun it around to here it would be the exact same thing if I went back to the original one it would be that exact same thing this has three spokes on it so it's 360 divided by 3 which is 120 degrees this has four spokes on it so this would be 360 divided by 4. So it's every 90 degrees you could turn it and be the same thing. And this one has 5. So it would be, again, 72 degrees. And then point symmetry is a special type of a rotational symmetry that's 180 degrees. So this has point symmetry because if I turned it, if I rotate it 180 degrees, it would be the exact same thing. So every point symmetry is a special type of rotational symmetry. And just because you have rotational symmetry doesn't mean that you have reflectional symmetry. So there's some figures that have line symmetry, reflectional symmetry, that don't have rotational symmetry, but there's some figures that have both. So this would be an example right here of something that does not have a line, a line of symmetry. This figure, I can't draw a line of symmetry anywhere. So it has rotational symmetry, but doesn't have line symmetry. Use the letters of the alphabet Identify which have rotational, reflectional, and point symmetry. If the figure has rotational symmetry, identify the angle of rotation. So I can draw a line of... I'm going to do the lines on the first part. So there's one line of symmetry there. One line here. 
one line, one line, one line, none, two lines, oops, I didn't draw that very well, two lines, none, and this K I could do, that's my line, that's my line, no line, and this one would be infinite if it was a true circle. And then let's talk about ro rotational symmetry. So I can't rotate this. Um, this one doesn't have rotational either. This one, no. No. No, no, no. Yes, this has point symmetry. It's 180 degree rotation. Same thing with this. This one, no. This one, no, 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 yes. If you rotate this N around, it's going to be the exact same after 180 degrees. And then the O has infinite rotational symmetry. So no matter how many degrees you went, it would always map onto itself. So you can kind of get the gist for the other letters too. So no lines of symmetry. No, no, no lines of symmetry. One, 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 two, one, no. And then rotational symmetry, no, 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 yes. Point symmetry, 180 degrees. Nope, no, 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 yes. You can rotate it 180 degrees, and yes, you can rotate it 180 degrees. That's point symmetry.